This is a quick demonstration video on how to set up the Wii Capture app on an Android device. So once you've gone through uh, Play Store, Google Play Store and searched Wii Capture and downloaded the app, this is the first page that will come up. So what it asks you for is your account code and you'll have had this uh, pre-assigned to you but I'll just put in a test one um, that I have here. Tool car test. Uh, whoops. The good news is you only have to do this once. One occasion, I mean, you actually have to type the account code in twice just to make sure you get it right, as I have it there. And then it asks you for an email address and typically this will be the email address that is your branch email address or the main one because the links to the photos that are being taken will be sent to this email address. So if you needed to then forward them on to a customer or, or to an assessor or wherever, uh, you're able to do that quickly. So this will be the email address, your main email address. And then um, created by, it says it's optional, but I suggest you do it. So it'll either be your name, perhaps your first name, or it might be your branch. So for example, I'm going to put in here Auckland. So that'll indicate to me where the photos have been taken and it comes through on the server, noting the branch uh, or your name. We tick the box. Once we're done, we simply go through here and Tick this box to say you understand the terms and conditions and that's what will show up uh, on your first home page. Now when we want to now go to our customised version of the app, we tap on the settings field. Comes up with a few options there. The first one we want to tick, the box we want to tick here is custom mode. We then want to scroll slightly down and we see advanced settings at the bottom. We tap on that because a very useful uh, feature is the time and date stamp. That means the photos will have the time and dates stamped on them when they were taken on the device, not when they were sent, but when they were taken. So it's nice and accurate. Also a handy one is the custom camera. That means that you can take the uh, photographs in quick succession without them uh, freezing the photos to show what you've taken. Quite can be quite, uh, speed things up quite a lot. So then once we're done there, we go back, press the back button on the device. We'll see here also there's a field, this is the most important one, we have to update our custom fields now that we've made these changes. So I tick on update custom fields, it'll tell me, it should tell me it's okay. And now I can go back and what I see now is a different looking uh, app homepage. Just to check that I've got my fields or it's, it's, it's updated, I click on photos and I see now that my pre-assigned loaded custom fields that I've put in there. I've used registration number, rental agreement number, Auckland comes up automatically, that's the branch where the photos have been taken for example, and customer email, that's the field that uh, we can, where we can put in the customer email or somebody else's email and they can get a link to the photos and any notes that we want to add. So now once we've done that, we are ready to go.